All right, everybody. Um, here's the page that I linked to uh, from the assignment with the instructions on how to create the comic style portrait. So here's a one minute video with no words. Beneath that, there are instructions for you to use to colorize your portraits. Okay. Again, at the final composition, the artwork file that you're going to download from here is just going to be the man with the hat. What you will need to add is the shapes, the patterns, and a little bit of background behind him that also includes text. All right, so I'm going to scroll back up, and I'm going to use the get files in order to download the necessary files. You want to make sure that you are in Chrome in order to see the download appear at the bottom of the screen. So I got my blue arrow, comic book portrait, and then download. I want you to tap download, and it'll change to open in. Choose open in, and I want you to choose open in downloads. And there it is. This is the file that I downloaded. I'm going to double click on the zip file. And what you're going to see is a new copy of the comic book portrait appear. Because I've done this several times for other classes and in trying to create this video, you see multiple files. But once you double click that zip file, you're going to grab the comic book portrait. You want to make sure that you see this graphic with the man on a gray background. So now that we're done that, I'm going to head over to Adobe Fresco. And I'm just holding down the command key on the keyboard and using the tab on the iPad keyboard. I'm actually going to close that out. And I'm going to choose import and open Photoshop file. And I'm going to choose comic book portrait five. So here is my blank document. Now that I have my document ready, I'm ready to now go and create the color palette. So I'm going to go back to Chrome. I want to close out a few of these. And I'm going to go back to the assignment. And I'm going to choose. Sorry. I'm going to choose. You can use this site to generate a color palette. It is going to open Adobe Color. So the really cool thing about Adobe Color is the ability to use the guidance from the color palettes that I showed you in the presentation and create them here. So you can see there are analogous color palettes, monochromatic, triad, complementary, split complementary, double split complementary, square, um, compound we're not going to worry about, shades we're not going to worry about, we're not going to worry about customs. Part of this assignment is to stick to colorizing something with a color palette. And so what I want to show you that's really cool about Adobe Color Tool is that I've chosen analogous colors. I can start to choose any one of these circles to find the hue that I want or the tint that I want as I'm going towards white. But what Adobe does really well here is maintain the relationship of the colors. So it doesn't matter how I move these circles, whether I go inward or towards the edge, it's always going to be analogous. If I chose monochromatic, it doesn't matter where I spin this circle. If I go towards the center or not, it's always going to create for me a monochromatic palette. Same thing with triad. It doesn't matter how I spin the circle. Adobe Color uses these color palettes to maintain the relationship between the colors, which is what a color palette is intended to do. Okay? I don't really like that color palette there. It's a little too muddy. So I may go with something like this. So for the purposes of demonstration, this is a color palette that I'm happy with so far. In order for me to get this color palette into Fresco to make sure that I'm meeting the requirements of the project, I am going to look underneath the color palette that appears right along the right edge here. I'm going to click on a plus sign and I'm going to say 4A CG1 demo palette. 
So we'll go to hit create. And it should update already to the color palette folder that I just created. In order for this to sync to Fresco, make sure that you're signed in. You should be prompted right away when you get to the site to sign into your Adobe account. And now that I have a color palette, I'm going to call this Triad. And I'm just going to name it red for the color in the center. So I'm going to hit save. Once I get the, it's been successfully saved, green bar down at the bottom, I'm going to head back over to Fresco. And in order to bring in the color palette, I'm going to click on my fill color swatch here. Close up that color wheel. Click on all and recents. Select all. And here is my color library folder that I created on Adobe Color with the colors that I wanted to use to colorize this palette. So once I'm here, I can select the color palette red. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to move this layer underneath. I'm going to change to a brush, not a pattern brush. And I'm just going to start to color. <laughs> All right, so I'm good there. If I wanted to go in and do some area for shadow, if I want to make all the shadows one color, I could. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Go back to my color palette. Maybe I want all my shadows to be brown. All right. And you keep coloring until you have him colored in using colors from your color palette. And then behind him, you can see there is no composition behind him. You're going to have to create it. This is where you're going to bring in pattern using a pattern brush if you want. You can use Adobe Capture to create your own pattern. You're going to bring in a shape from the shape library. You're also going to add a text element, not including the letters that are on his hat. And you're going to colorize everything using the color palette of your choosing. You're going to maintain this illustration style. So where you have the heavy black here in, in the subject space, you're also going to want to carry that through. Make sure you have some black non-art going through your final art composition. All right. So if you're starting to color with these colors and you don't like it, you're like, mm, not feeling that. You can head back over to <coughs> Adobe Color. And you can create an entirely new color palette. Maybe you want to try split complementary. Maybe you like this. Just rename this. Split complementary. I'm going to call it purple for the color in the middle. I'm going to hit save. Head back over to Fresco. Tap on my fill. Mm, why didn't it show up there? Let's try this again. Okay. It should show up in theory. Just going to reopen it. There it is. Okay. Um, sometimes that happens. I don't know why, but if you save it over in Adobe color and it doesn't show up here, just exit and open it back up. And now you'll see the colors. So if you decide to switch palettes, do not start using this color on the old palette because it's not going to make sense. Just go ahead and recolor what you've already started. Replace the colors with the colors from the new palette. Do not 
add new colors to an old color palette or else they're going to miss the criteria of the assignment okay all right i hope that's enough guidance to get you started you'll have today in class and you'll have um thursday's class to start work on it and finish and complete so i hope this was helpful again i'm sorry i couldn't be there today look forward to catching up with you all on thursday have a good afternoon